What is up, my people? Welcome back to the channel for another album review. I'm your boy Nassim the Dream. If you're new to the channel, just go right on ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell as well to always keep notified on my newest content. And today I'll be reviewing the new Behemoth record, Opus Contra Natram. This is the brand new LP from Polish extreme metal band Behemoth, following a four year gap from their latest project, I Loved You at Your Darkest, and notoriously praised as a metal band for their latest 2014 LP, The Satanist, which was a record that got me really interested in the band's style of death metal and black metal and kept me with them ever since. This is one of the few bands that is currently around with this satanic image portrayed from them or that is really inspired from early influences of black metal. Diving right into this album, setting the stage with the heroism enters the intro track post God Nirvana. With its eerie string vibratos and satanic calling points of this image into this epic of a horrifying scene of a spiritual awakening, we then begin the demolition with the second track with Malaria Vagata hammering away at the drum and scorching away at the guitars while grueling vocal images are guiding our way through the track. This track and many on the list features some whirling guitar solos that spew much chaos into the mix. And the band still continues bringing in some operatic elements such as with the harmonious background vocals underneath the mix that overall is really most appreciated trait from bands like this used as their domain in the most song material. Deathless Sun is one of the tracks that I thought be worth mentioning with the first chorus in my opinion that displays more sing-along motifs that is just one of the most memorable moments on here. I will say I do feel like this album becomes a bit more linear towards the midpoint as we do get more songs that possess a lot of that behemoth trope and styles that are overall satisfying but they really lack that progression that doesn't exactly fulfill the desire of wanting this project to extend into something bigger that we've already been presented and you don't really get much of that theatrical feel as you do from the Satanist. The mix is consistent and in total fairly well made but there's hardly a track on here that keeps me in that bold impression compared to the rest besides the closer versus crisis. The band also brings in some more group vocals brought into the track Disinheritance that also possesses one of the favorite swings into the track list that overall feels so loose and full of energy. It's just one of those metal tracks that naturally build up so much excitement into the audience that naturally they rally around to create some kind of mosh pit or circle pit or wall of death or just flat out punches flying in the air. And it's also featured at this point on the album, one of the best transitional moments on the album that carry the most momentum onward with the track Off to War. Right here is the type of progressional aspect I'd hope to hear on the majority of this album, but honestly, if you really think about it, it kind of feels instead like a push to play effect on nearly the entire play. Which isn't a totally bad critique, it's just a personal preference of artistic ability I'd really hope to hear on records of the theatrical experience like I mentioned. But this album really does carry a really really strong finish with the last few tracks on here. One of them that really rocks one of the hardest on here is easily the 8th installment Once Upon a Pale Horse. It's a more simpler metal track but I really think that the moments on here and the passages have some really really hard hitting moments especially with the riffs on here and two it sounds incredible and just excellent executes the idea with a really well thought out writing approach due to the how sweet the chorus plays off and but also how we enter this next segment where we feel less more filler and more canon. And then wrapping this up ending with a furious finish with the song versus crisis that empties in the tank with all the fuel left in the band in a crushing kick ass fashion. So I will say simply I did enjoy this record and then take away some tracks that I would like to hear outside of the record but it's also really easy to say that there's moments on here that feel really messy see and there's also moments on here that really don't feel like they pack as much as a bold punch and other moments and the potency and horrific elements are not as present on here compared to some of the rest of their LPs but I feel like Behemoth still comes up with a W on here and releasing some new music material that overall builds up to great metal music. I'm gonna get Behemoth's Opus Cantres Navram a 71%. As always guys thank you so much for watching the video if you enjoyed go on a like share comment down below and if you're not already subscribed to the channel and down in the description, you see all my separate tracklist ratings for the album, more videos, and also the links to my social media accounts, so you can keep up with me on the daily. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Oh,